Hi friends, right now I am solving the V notch prismatic bar where the depth of V is one third. The height of the prismatic bar is 30 mm and the length is 220 mm. Since it is a one third, the height of the V notch is 10. Reference structural, okay. Three plus element element type. Add add no. solid eight node one eighty three. Okay, no option order. plane stress with thickness. Okay, close it. Go for real constant. Add thickness. Add okay. Give the thickness. Thickness is six mm. Thickness is sorry nine mm. Okay, close. You can choose the thickness as per the requirements given. Material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotopic, 2 e power 3 and 0.35 is the poisonous ratio. Ok, close it. Then go for modeling, create area once again, that by center corner and dimension, let the origin be x, y, 0, 0 and the width is 220 mm and the height is 30 ok now the actual theme starts to create the v notch v notch let me zoom the model first create the key point go for plot lines Go for inactive CS. Give zero comma five. Then it's zero comma fifteen. And it's ten comma fifteen. Okay, now the key points have been created. Key points. Now it's time to create the V line straight lines create the lines now we can since it is an axisymmetric we can reflect it the procedure for reflect is go for operate now to reflect go for operate reflect lines select the lines to be reflected ok select the first option ok now the line has been reflected the next step is to divide the area between V and the main area go for boolean divide area by line ok now the area has been divided the next procedure is to delete or subtract the area let me choose the delete area in below this is the area I have to be deleted and now the area has been deleted since the load is applied here at the distance of some minus 70 from the origin that is from x comma y it's minus 70 here is the load and here is the displacement displacement so I am going to split the lines or split the model so I go for work pen offset then select put it 90 degree here then select it 70 now x moves 70 distance at 70 mm apart then click here to cut the area or vertically now go for operate divide area by work plane now the area has been cut into work horizontally vertically now to cut horizontally go for offset now the work plane is here once again bring back the y now go for x ok now the plane will be cut horizontally select both areas see now the area has been 
cut horizontally and vertically now here is the place where the load is applied here and then constraint that is all degree of freedom is constrained at this point that is 95 mm from the center of the prism now first let me align the work plane with global cartesian once again increment it u 95 mm long x axis the work plane has shifted here then cut it vertically select vertically here okay area by work plane select areas the area has been cut it vertically similarly reflect this procedure here itself the area cannot be reflected the areas cannot be reflected here so once again use the work plane to cut here align the work plane with global cartesian then once again set that is minus 70 now cut to cut vertically select y okay area by work plane set both area it is cut once again once again align the work plane with the global cartesian offset by increment u minus 95 apply to cut vertically okay here by work plane select the areas now it is cut into two planes once again align the work plane with the global cartesian now the area has been splitted as per our requirement now go for meshing option select mesh tool and let me set it as global and the edge length be minimum of 1.5 okay Uh, now no. it is to mesh. mesh select all the areas it's already meshed we can see a can uh, we can see a little cumbersome elements here this is in case if we had taken fourth node quad 188 the there will be a triangular faces or triangular element generation so i had taken quad 8 node 183 even you can solve it quad 144 the element size should be greater if it is small as same as 183 quad 8 the element should fail so i taken quad quad 8 183 then go for load apply displacement for the lines on key points constrain those key points all degree of freedom set it okay the next is the force on key points okay that is downward force since it is an fobar mechanism i am dividing the load the applied load is 110 it is divided among the two parts of two parts of the prism that is 10.5 c okay then go for solo current tendency okay now we are seeing that solution is done here then go for post pusher nodal solution for on mesh stress you can see the now you can see the fringes at the top uh, at the bottom of the v no you can experiment this type of model in the photoelastic lab then you can compare 
the result width and the software then to fit select it here to add the thickness for style size and shape on the thickness then you can animate here stars can take on my sisters ok you can see the slow fringes are forming here ok thank you